What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a Gen 5 favorite. We got ourselves an Electross team today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on out of here. Do not watch my videos anymore. I'm just playing around, stay a little bit longer, but definitely consider subscribing. It really goes a long way and really helps me grow as a content creator. Like I said, we have Electros today, and Electros was such a cool Pokemon in Gen 5. It was actually like a rare Pokemon to find in Gen 5, and with it still being 2D and having 2D sprites, I feel like Electros looked 10 times cooler and 10 times like stronger and more of like a meaner Pokemon. But now that they switch over to 3D sprites, I feel like they kind of messed up on it, but still, I love this Electros Pokemon and cannot wait to use it. Before we get started here with today's team preview, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator, Harold HD. Thank you so much for making this team a replica code. He actually used this team to push rank one on the showdown ladder. So this team is made to push some high ranks. I will I will be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below if you guys want to go check out his content. But with that out the way, we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in the top left corner with the one and only for Rigor Ramp over here. Really cool Pokemon. I love its new ability, Armor Tail. It prevents Pokemon from using first turn priority moves, so I'm all about that. It's got Focus Sash as item, Strock and Hyper Voice, Psychic, and then it can counter Trick Room teams with Imprison and Trick Room. Second Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Electros over here with Levitate and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got Thunderbolt, Discharge, Giga Chain, and Flamethrower with that Terror type being straight up electric to make it do as much damage as possible. Next Pokemon is going to be Garchomp. Garchomp's going to be able to pair well with Electros because I can freely discharge, and it's going to be able to pair well with the Toxtricity because, you know, Toxtricity has discharge as well. And ground type or Garchomp is going to be a uh, ground type, and it cannot be affected by those electric moves. It has Rough Skin, it has the Choice Band as item, and then it has EQ, Stomping Tantrum, Dragon Claw, and Iron Head for its four moves. Next Pokemon is going to be one of the best support Pokemons in the game at the moment. It's going to be Murkrow. You guys have been seeing it all over the ladder. It is just too good not to use. It has Prankster as its ability, Rocket the Evil Light as its item, and then it's got Foul Play, Taunt, Haze, and Tailwind for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Annihilate, but another Pokemon that you have been seeing all over the rank ladder. Just such a strong Pokemon with such a good typing with the Fighting and Ghost. It's got Defiant as its ability, Rocket and Lumberry as its item, and then it's got Rage Fist, Drain Punch, Brick Break, and Bulk Up for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Toxtricity. I feel like Toxtricity is such a cool Pokemon. I love them all around, and I can't and I cannot wait to use them on the rank ladder, considering this is my first time using them in Scarlet and Violet. It's got Boom Burst, Overdrive, Discharge, and Sludge Bomb, and it's got them choice specs as item alongside with the Punk Rock ability. Guys, if you want to rock this team for yourself, about the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with these Electros team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room team, actually a Lucario Trick Room team that I showcased on the channel, so I kind of know the general gist of what he wants to do here. Got a lead for Grigoraph in case he wants to go in with the Trick Room, plus we can bro block the fake outs and all that good stuff. So for Grigoraph, you are coming in here as lead. Love that Pokemon, gotta rock out with it. So we go for Grigoraph, we can also go in with Annihilate, not too bad for a lead, or like Garchomp, but I really don't want a choice this early. I think I'm going to go Annihilate as lead. I really do like that Pokemon. Bring Electros and Garchomp in the back end, or do I go Electros and Toxtricity? I kind of like Garchomp, just so I can Terra type in the ground, and ground seems to do a lot of work on a lot of these Pokemon, so I'm all about the Garchomp. I'm all about the Chomp. So let's lock it in, let's lock it down, let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But this team right here, super, super strong. Like I said, it has the Lucario. Lucario can pretty much just like Final Gambit, get after the battle that way. I do have the Focus Sash on the uh, Frigoraph, which is really good, but... Frigoraph just seems to be like one of the best counters for Trick Room because A, it blocks Fake Out with its ability, and B, it learns Imprison and Trick Room. So you can just Imprison Trick Room, lock it down, lock it out, and at the same time, dodge Fake Outs. I think it's huge. I think it's a great Pokemon for ranked and competitive doubles. I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it. I actually use it in like a different team. Probably, I don't think I use it on recording yet, but I use it on like a different team, messing around on the online ladder. But Mimikyu's going to come out here alongside with, uh, alongside with Lucario. What's really good is uh, what's really good is uh, Annihilate is going to be normal type, so it can actually dodge these moves. I do have Rage Fist ready to go. I do have Drain Punch. Um, I kind of just want to go into a Rage Fist. Actually, I could bulk up this turn. I could bulk up, which I am gonna do. And I'm just gonna imprison. He's gonna final game, but I am Sash, which is lovely. And that doesn't even take me out. My HP is way too big. I have too much HP. I have way too much HP. So he wants to go for the final gambit. He wants to go for the trick room. I'm going to imprison trick room and lock it down. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all with it. 
and prison coming out here we're gonna say hey yo no trick rooms happening and he's gonna try to go for a trick room so strongly for us strongly for us we have bulk up rolling out strong with annihilate i want him to take out my figure wrath i really do want it gone but he's gonna bring out torkoal i'm fine with that bring out torkoal i'm all i'm all game for that i'm all game so from here i am just going to take off the uh the disguise of the Mimikyu, just so we don't have to deal with it later. I could go into Rage Fist if I want to. Hmm. It's only 50 base power, though. I think Drain Punch is going to be our play over into the Torkoal. Yeah, I'm with the Drain Punch in the Torkoal, just in case he wants to Shadow Sneak into me. You never know. You never know. We're going to see a Terra type coming out here. Probably a Terra Fire from the Torkoal, right? Makes the most sense. I do have Electros and Garchomp in the back end. I feel like we're really thriving with this battle. Especially after sealing that Trick Room. We're sitting in such a hot spot. Solid start from us, and we're bulked up. Drain Punch coming hot. Doing a decent amount of damage. We have a defense boost. This thing is going to go for a player off, and that's going to take out my Annihilate. He's gonna, probably going to pick up the double kill, right? I'm fine if he picks up the double kill. It really is no problem for me. So I'm going to drop this guy's. He's probably going to drop a Heat Wave. Hopefully, it's an Eruption. He does erupt. Okay, Annihilate might be able to eat this up. Actually, I don't know with that, with that Terra type now. Yeah, no. Too strong. Too strong. So we're not sitting in a bad spot. We're not sitting in a bad spot. So Annihilate drops out. Frugraph drops out. He does not have Trick Room up, which is huge. Lucario's dead. And now I can bring out these little boogers. And I kind of want to see uh, this thing's speed. 73 is rather slower. Mimikyu will outspeed that. But Garchomp has a speed all day. Garchomp has that speed all day. Uh, What should I do here? I could tear it into Thunder. Which I might do. I might tear it into a, a Thunder. A thunder move. Actually, I could. Mm, I might tear just straight in the ground. I might tear straight in the ground. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Because who do I think his final Pokemon is? It's got to be like Lilgin, right? Seems like Lilgin would be the best bet. I gotta just trash slides and be able to freely discharge, correct? Hmm. Or do I just go into a Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt's not bad. I kind of like Thunderbolt a bit better, but discharge. Is solid. I feel like we have to we have to go for KO, so I'm gonna Terra and try to get rid of the Torkoal, and then on top of that, I am just gonna pop an Iron Head. I'm gonna choice ban into an Iron Head. That's my play, because I have to get rid of Mimikyu. I have to get rid of Mimikyu. So I'm gonna Terrasalize here. I'm gonna rock out with Electros. First time actually using this Pokemon ever in competitive. Because I haven't started I didn't start playing competitive until uh last gen, Sword and Shield. So this is my first time using Electros. I'm gonna be able to drop an Iron Head. Is this KO? It does indeed. So solid, solid choice band move from us. I'm gonna take out the Mimikyu. Then on top of this, I think, I think that this, that this Thunderbolt can KO, right? I think this is Thunderbolt can KO. Can it? Yeah, yo, Electros coming in hot here. Terra typing in the Electric, taking out the Torkoal. And now we're choosing to Iron Head. And I have my Terra type Electric. And I can freely discharge at this point if I want to. But Thunderbolt does more damage. Thunderbolt does do a bit more damage. Yo, Electros looks sick. Like I said, his 2D sprite looked a lot, a lot cooler in my opinion. But, but it's still cool when it's a 3D sprite. It's just like kind of like floating around. But I'm just gonna drop the Iron Head. I'm choosing that and my Thunderbolt. But our opponent might just cancel battle. Could go for a fake out if he wants, but it's really not gonna do anything. Yeah, you're gonna fake out my Electros. Do a little bit of damage. I'm gonna Iron Head here. Do half of your health. Yo, Garchomp too strong with that choice band. <laughs> He's way too strong with the choice band. He's going to end up burning himself. And it's GG's. It is GG's. Match number one. Go into your boy. Thunderbolt's going to drop here. Iron Head's going to come in here again. But Garchomp just straight up out speeds. Hariyama does not learn any first turn priority moves. So Iron Head's going to fly. It's going to pick up the KO. No problem. And we start off 1-0 for today's video. Hopping into battle number two. Going up against a semi-hail team, right? I mean, probably Ice Body Excalibur. I know it learns Ice Body as an ability. So it can regenerate HP in the snow. I don't know why I said hail. It is snow. Trying to get used to that change. But it has to bomb a snow to pop the snow. And then uh, Murkrow, Toad's Cruel, which is a really cool new Pokemon. Grass and Ground type, I believe. And then Slow King for Trick Room. And what is that Pokemon? Rotom Heat. And Rotom Heat. I'm really liking Garchomp here. I can EQ a lot. Kind of get after a bat battle that way. I'm going to lead it with the Murkrow. I just feel like that's a solid little lead. I could bring Toxtricity in the back. Toxtricity is rather fast, right? 108, not too bad. Tailwind could help us out tremendously there. So I am going to go Toxtricity. Then final Pokemon, either Electros or Annihilate. But I'm kind of leaning towards Annihilate just due to its typing. Really strong Pokemon all around. 
has nice little fighting moves, which will be super effective onto the ice Pokemon. I'm all about it. I'm all with it. Actually, if you're going to lead the ice Pokemon, do I lead Annihilate instead of Garchomp? I think so, right? It makes, makes a bit more sense. Makes a bit more sense. So I'm going to lead the Annihilate before the Garchomp because if he goes out into the ice Pokemon, he can legit Ice Shard with the Bax Caliber, drop a Blizzard with a... Uh, with a bomb of snow and i would just be sitting in a tough situation considering my terror type is ground and yeah ground is still super effective up against ice so it's a, it's not it wouldn't be too too hot of a play from jeans it would not be a good play for me but that first battle we played pretty solid on we imprisoned the trick room we started off strong with the bulk up i just rolled out the battle after that we're gonna end up going into oh my god yo shiny toad troll looks insane it looks so good it looks so good i'm really i'm a big fan of that I'm a big fan of that. I don't really know too much what Toad School does. It might learn Spore. I have a feeling it does learn Spore, but I can just do this, and I could bulk up here. Or I could Brick Break. I could Drain Punch. I am just going to pop a nice little Drain Punch into the Toad School. I'm all with it. I'm not going to Brick Break due to... Or not Brick Break. Bulk up, because uh, Mercury does learn Haze. And that could just take off my stats instantly. Plus, with Pranks on top of that, he would go before me. So, if I bulk up, he would just haze next turn. And it'll be a waste of a turn. So, he ends up taunting my Annihilate. I'm not going for bulk up. That's fine. I thought you were going to taunt my Murkrow. Actually, you can. I'm Dark type. Is Murkrow Dark type? Or only Honchkrow Dark type? We'll see. We're going to Drain Punch across here. Doing half damage, which is pretty solid. I'm all about that. He's going to Spore me. I knew he had Spore. I'm going to have to taunt that thing. I'm going to have to taunt that thing. I'm pretty sure... Am I Lumberry? I think I am. So I am Lumberry. I am going to taunt again. Or I'm going to taunt this turn. God dang it. I knew it learned Spore. I knew it. I gotta taunt that little booger. He's not. He's, he's ground and grass, right? Yeah. Ground and grass type. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I am taunted. Rage Fist. And let me see if Murkrow is dark. I believe he's dark. He might just be flying. Yeah, he's dark and flying. I thought maybe when he evolved into Honcho, he would get that typing. So I'm going to taunt that. And at this point... I'm going to deal some damage over onto Murkrow. Let's see what he does at this point. It's not going to taunt that thing. No spores allowed. Spores are a pain to deal with. It is such a pain to deal with. Thank the Lord I had to Lumberry. He might go for another spore turn. It's Mental Herb. Night, night. Night, night, Annihilate. Night, night. Tailwind's going to fly. Can you outspeed? I can taunt it next turn, though, which could be good. Brain Punch. Oh, whoa. That's some big time damage. That's some... Big time damage, my boy. Big time damage into the Murkrow. Earth Power's gonna fly. That's fine. I could taunt it again now. Or I could double down into the Toad School. I'm thinking of just taunting it. The Spore could really do me dirty, but Annihilate coming in hot. It's Rage Fist is gonna get boosted right now, which I really like. And I don't know if he set up a Tailwind. Did he set up a Tailwind? We can see. Yes, he did. Okay, so he did set up a Tailwind. Um, Snow is out and about. I can just taunt in that Toad School. I'm not dealing with that. I can just Drain Punch and get HP back. I think I'd rather get HP back more than anything. So I'm just going to Drain Punch it. Rip right into it. Bomb Snow might Terror type. No, he's going to Rage Powder. That's fine. So he does end up Rage Powdering. I'm going to taunt it so it can't Rage Powder or uh, Spore next turn. And if Annihilate can outspeed, this could be a solid turn from us. It does. It's big. So we're going to get a decent amount of HP back. Bring that thing down to one. He can't Rage Powder next turn. And I can straight up just drain punch into the uh, Abomasnow next turn. Blizzard flying. That's scary move. Murkrow soaks really well. I'm going to drain punch again. And we're just... We're just teeing off on this, dude. It's a no problem game, kind of. I think we might sweep. I'm just going to go into the drain punch. Keep it flowing. Just keep these two on the field. These two were a great lead. We're just rocking out up against this Pokemon. Drain punch flying. Doing half health. Regenerating all my health back to full. And if he doesn't take out my, my Murkrow this turn, we get up another another Tailwind. But he's going to end up Blizzarding again, take us out, and probably double down with the Earth Power, right? So now Speed's here. Um, he does have Earth Power, which kind of sucks. Tailwind is gone. Hmm. I don't have Electros. I do have you. I really do like you. I can choice into a Boom Burst here. Normal Terra? I'm all about it. Because the Punk Rock ability gives you a 30% increase on sound-based moves. Boom Burst is a sound-based move. Overdrive might be one, too. I'm not too sure. Let me read the description. Move info. Uh, the user 
Attack supposed Pokemon by twanging a guitar. Yeah, so it is a sound based move right there. That's electric, but I'd rather go into a boom burst because it hits both. It's base 140. You get the 30% increase, and then I can Terra normal on top of that. And the choice specs boost. That, this is going to hit hard. I'm going to go into a boom burst here. And it has no effect on an island, yo. I love it. Uh, can I bulk up here? I could swap into Chomp. Nah, I'm not going to swap into Chomp. I'll go for I'll go for a Drain Punch, if anything. I will go for a Drain Punch, if anything. But it seems like this is going to be GG, right? Toxicity coming in the back end? Should be able to win this match for us. I'm all about it. I'm all with it. I didn't realize Boom Burst was 140. That's ridiculous. And it hits both Pokemon. Such a strong move. Blizzard's going to fly here. That's going to take out Annihilate. Stop it. Stop it. Yo, stop it. Yo, yo, chill. Chill on me. Chill on me. Thaw out, my guy. Thaw out, my guy. Yo, yo, that ain't right. That ain't cool one bit. That ain't cool one bit. Tailwind's gone. That is not cool one bit. That's not cool one bit. That's just simply not cool. At all. At all, it's not cool. It's not right. <laughs> that is not right. Um, this two Pokemon. Do I start popping EQs? I have the choice into something. Do we think he has Bax Caliber? Oh, dude, he might have Rotom Heat in the back end. I might have the choice to a Dragon move. Am I choice into that already? I'm not a choice anymore. Okay. So I did not get to go. Uh, I think I'm going to choice into a Dragon move. I have the choice to a Dragon move here. The Tailwind's gone. Garchomp should be fast. And we're hoping Garchomp can just KO the Bomb Snow. Toxtricity outspeeds, maybe thaws out, and then gets rid of the... Oh, no. No bueno. No bueno. This gives him a chance to thaw out, though. This gives him a chance to thaw out, which I can really, really use. Earth Power's gonna fly. We soak that. It's getting ugly. It's getting ugly real quick. Can you thaw out, please? Yes, Toxtricity. Okay, so Toxtricity thawed out. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly here. And it's gonna get blocked. Okay, so now that we thawed out, I can try and call that slot. I'm choosing that now. And this thing could rage batter. But I'm just gonna sludge bomb. I'm just gonna sludge bomb you. And just dragon call this slot. This match. This match should have been over. I got frozen by Blizzard. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon call comes out here. Choice bam. Easily KOs out of Bomb of Snow. No problem. Get on out my game. Sludge bomb's gonna come over here. Oh no, you outspeed. And do you die to this? Okay. Who are you bringing out? Who are you bringing out? Who are you bringing out? I could not choice into a, a ground move. And the reason being because of, uh, because of the Rotom Heat. Let's see who he has. Bax Caliber. We're going to hope that this thing's not rocking Ice Shard. Because if it's not, I should be able to KO maybe with the Dragon Call. It's choice ban. It's sad. <clears throat> It still has Terra, doesn't it? It might Terra here and change the typing. Yeah. That should be GG's. Are you kidding me? We're gonna lose to a Freeze? Don't tell me I lose to a Freeze. Be Dragon type. It's ground. It is ground. Can we half HP this? No, we're dead. We're dead. Because if we don't kill it in one shot, he's just gonna easily Ice move us. Might even have Ice Shard. We go for a Dragon Claw here. And he's gonna go for a Glade Rush. Yeah. Night, night. Night, night. See you later, Garchomp. Man, dude. One and one for today's video. Loses to that freeze. Tough battle in battle number two. But you guys know the deal. We're hopping into our third and final battle. And we're going to grab you guys a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. And we have a battle for the ages. We got ourselves a Dodonzo team. You guys know I'm 0-2 up against the Dodonzo when it comes out on the field. So I'm looking to beat it this time. I'm looking to get after it. I'm looking to crush this one. And grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Going up against the Dodonzo like I already mentioned. With Arcanine, Golden Go, Tatsugimi. Tatsugummy. I forget. I always forget how to pronounce that Pokemon. And then Sylveon and me Scarada. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? We definitely need Murkrow at some point to potentially haze. I do have like my electric Pokemon to kind of rip up. But who should I lead? I don't think he's going to lead at the Donzo, right? I feel like Sylveon might come out here for a lead. I could actually lead the Garchomp and the Murkrow. Tailwind, I could Iron Head. I do have Iron Head Choice Band, which could be great for us. 
But Intimidate could do me wrong here as well, which I don't like. I do not like that. So, you know, I'm still going to lead it anyway. I'm going to go in with them to bring my Electros and then have... I'm thinking I got to rock out with you, right? Toxtricity? I like Toxtricity. I do like Toxtricity. Just got to watch out for going for Boom Burst, considering he has a Ghost-type Pokemon with the Goldigo. But I got to beat this Sedanzo, man. I got to beat the Sedanzo. Haven't beat one yet. I'm 0-2 up against Sedanzos. When they're out on the field, I beat a Dodonzo team, but they didn't bring out Dodonzo. So that, that don't really count. That don't count, right? I can't I can't claim myself as defeating Dodonzo if yeah, I never versed him, you know? Well, Arcanine does come out here for a lead. Uh, could see the hard swap. I think we are going to see the hard swap. I could haze right now. I think I'm just going to set up a Tailwind. And I might swap into Electros. I feel like he's going to swap, right? Hmm. I could pop an EQ. But I might freely do. Just in case he stays in with the Arcanine. I feel like we can EQ. I mean, he could swap into the... He could swap into the Dodonzo here. It's going to Terror type. It's kind of scary. I might have to swap my Murkrow. I really might have to swap my Murkrow. I'm just going to swap his typing into normal. That's a smart little play. And he's going to start E speeding. I'm going to have to swap my Murkrow. I need my Murkrow for Dodonzo. Hmm. Are you doubling down? Please don't double down my Murkrow. I need him. EQ's gonna fly here. Huh. Doing a decent amount of damage into the, the gummy. He's gonna Draco Meter me. That's fine. I feel like he would have to swap right here right now. I'm gonna swap my Murkrow next turn. I can't have it die to an uh, E speed. Uh, I could go into Electros. Which I might have to do. I think that might be my play. I could overdrive here. Who should I go into? He's going to have to swap now. It's either that or we get rid of it. I'm going to go into E... Mm, Toxtricity might be my play. Now I'm going to go into Electros. I'm going to go into Electros here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We did some nice damage over onto that... Uh, onto that Tasugimi. But from here, I feel like we just Thunderbolt, right? I could Terrasalize. I might Tarrasque just in case he wants to swap. There's no way he doesn't swap or do something with that. I'm going to Tarrasque. I'm going to drop a Thunderbolt into this slot. Just in case he swaps. If not, we get off some big damage on that Pokemon. And then I have to swap my Murkrow. I have to swap my Murkrow. Murkrow's a must swap here because I need it for Haze just in case he gets off that, that later. So we're going to get in Toxtricity. He's probably East speeding the Toxtricity slot. And let's see how he wants to play this one. Or is he swapping? No, he's not swapping. The no swap comes out from him. Uh, I think he's waiting for us to pick up the KO. I should have just killed the other one. I should just kill the other thing, but I thought maybe he would swap, and if he swapped, I would waste a turn, right? It's just tough news. Oh, he protects it anyway. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So E-Speed's probably coming out here. Yep, E-Speed's flying. And he going after. Yep, Toxtricity. Taking a huge chunk of damage. Can you KO with the Thunderbolt, please? Please, Electros! You're my dog. You're my boy. KO here. Let's go. That's a big time KO. So we pick up the big time KO. We have a decent amount of speed. Uh, hmm. So obviously bringing out the Donzo. I really want to swap Toxtricity. And say that the Donzo goes after the Electros. So he's going to Commander. He's going to get all these boosts. Blah, 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 blah. Um... Hmm. He has to go after Electros, right? It feels like what he's going to do. So I'm just going to Thunderbolt. I'm going to swap Toxtricity into Murkrow. I'm going to say he doesn't go after Toxtricity slot. I'm bringing out my Murkrow to haze this thing. Dodonzo, baby. Dodonzo coming out here. I mean, I could get a Paralyze here with two with the Thunderbolt. He's going to EQ. Okay, I'm fine with that turn. I have Void. Can I eat this? Oh, I have Levitate. My fault. I have Levitate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Levitate coming out here. You're getting hazed. You're getting hazed. I'm not dealing with you. And I'm doing half damage. I don't even need to haze you. Actually, outspeeds. What is that? Leftovers? I feel like I have to haze it, though. Just so it doesn't do a lot of damage. You're getting hazed. I'm not dealing with you. I could Giga Drain, but 
Back in back any HP. We're just gonna Thunderbolt. We are going to go into a haze just so I can slow it down. And I'm taking off all the stat changes. I'm not dealing with you, Dodonzo. I'm not dealing with you, buddy. The stat change are gone. Thunderbolts can come out here. We're gonna say bye bye to you. Get him on out of here. Not dealing with this Pokemon. I killed a Dodonzo. I killed one. I did it. <laughs> I killed one. Played it nicely. Levitate Electros. Rocking out your Tailwind's gone, but I can boost speed again. With next turn, that thing is minus two. He should still be minus two, right? I don't know what the what the thing is if it goes into all that. I might discharge this turn. Really depends what Pokemon he goes into. Because I don't mind killing the Murkrow after the fact to get off the Tailwind. He'll be solid for us. Let's see his final Pokemon. Who is it going to be? Who is your final Pokemon, kind sir? We killed the Arcanine. That thing's low on HP. I can discharge kill it. And it's going to be Sylveon. Okay, so I think discharge is going to be my play. Take out everything and then just set up a Tailwind. I'm all about the Tailwinds. Will Quick Attack go before Tailwind? Because this thing does probably have Quick Attack. It probably does have Quick Attack. Hmm. Solid haze from us, yo. Solid play to get that Murkrow out there. And then he used EQ on my Levitate Pokemon. He goes for the Protect, and it fails because he used it last turn. That's totally fine. Tailwind's coming now here. Discharge Terror type should take out that little fish sushi guy. And then we have my boy in the back end. Toxicity. The Discharge flying. Doing a decent amount of damage onto that uh, Sylveon. Maybe we'll get a Paralyze. I KO my Murkrow. I don't think Sylveon can KO me. And we paralyzed that thing. And did we not KO the fish? Okay, yeah, we did KO the fish. All right, I was going to say, we paralyzed the, the Sylveon, which is huge. And it doesn't move. And it doesn't move. Your boy is killing it. This is going to be my first win up against a uh, up against a Sylveon. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I got Sludge Bomb ready to roll, too. I got Sludge Bomb ready to roll. I'm not going to pop Discharge. I'm going to go back to Thunderbolt. Only reason I used Discharge was to hit the double move. Then I'm just choice into a Sludge Bomb. Let's go. Your boy did it. Your boy did it. Choice Spec Sludge Bomb. It's Stab. It's super effective. Beat my first Adonzo team. You guys gotta love it. That last match was for the Jeans Online Gaming Community. Beat a Dodonzo. Actually dominated a Dodonzo team. Played that one really well. Swapped in and out of Murkrow at the perfect time. Got off the Haze. Terror typed our Electros and just got rid of him from there and just won the battle it was awesome we went two and one for today's video went solid grab ourselves a winning record and more importantly we probably would have grabbed ourselves a perfect record if i did not get frozen in that one turn that one hurt your soul but hey rng does screw you up sometimes and sometimes it helps you out considering i think the last video i won a match because of rng i think it was just the poke gods getting back at me saying like hey yo you got rng that battle we're gonna take it away from you this battle but it's all good like i said we grabbed ourselves a winning record and fully got to showcase electros in rank battles but guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.